Hello everyone, today we have a review of this latest product from Cable Mod. So before we start, as a disclaimer, this product was sent to us over by Cable Mod for free, but in no way will it affect our review. I will be sharing to you my thoughts and my opinions on this product. So we all know Cable Mod from their awesome cables. Um, since last year, I've been using a lot of their cables and nothing to complain about the quality of their cables. Really good, really exceptional cables from Cable Mod. And what I really love about Cable Mod cables is the configurator where you can choose and modify your cables according to your desire and you see it on the screen how it will look like. And so today, I think the company is exploring to expand their offerings to the mechanical keyboard scene and we have their premium ABS keycap set that they just released. So this one I got would be the Japanese themed keycaps. So let's go into the website and check the specs of this keycap. So you will see here, these are the premium ABS laser keycap set. Uh, it's sold for $49, around $50, $49.90. It's a shine true keycaps wherein when you have an RGB PCB, the light will shine through the legends, which is really cool, really awesome, especially for gamers. But for myself, honestly, I really don't dig the shine true gamer ish vibe. But surprisingly, using these keycaps without the RGB, it really looks nice. I love the legends. I love the quality. I love the, the approach on these keycaps. Um, this is OEM profile and it's double shot ABS. The texture is really nice. Very premium. Unlike the cheaper keycaps in the market, you would know that this one is on the premium end of the spectrum, right? Um, the inclusions can be seen here in the website, although suffice it to note that the base set, the one that costs $49.90, did not come with the 1.75U shift, all right? And that is very important because a lot of 65% keyboards nowadays, the layout features a 1.75 unit shift key. So do take note. So what am I using here? is the one that comes with the cable mod modifier keycap set the one that comes with this keycap set so when i get this when i got my my copy of review unit i ordered the laser keycap set and a modifier set and luckily i did get one because this set contains the 1.75 unit shift key um my problem however is um this set alone although yes it looks nice um costs 39.90 and in my opinion the the 50 dollar keycap set plus a 40 dollar modifier set i think a bit on the higher price range when it comes to keycaps and i'm not really sure if i would consider it as justifiable purchase so uh, the keycap is set at $49.90 is good, good to go. I'm good with that, really good, especially the quality that you're getting. But add in the modifiers, I, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. That's my honest opinion on that, all right? So how are the keycaps? How are the keycaps? I measured these keycaps and um, on my caliper, these keycaps are 1.2 millimeters compared to the GMK, which is 1.4 millimeter thick, and the XMI PBT keycaps, which is 1.6 millimeters thick. This one would be the thinnest among the three. Is it a bad thing? Okay, honestly, it's not. All right, again, guys, don't get me wrong. Of course, we want thick keycaps, we don't want that plasticky sound, that thin sound, but in no way are these keycaps thin sounding all right it's not like the set of keycaps that i've tried before that comes in with your budget pre-built boards the keycaps from the keychron k series and actually even from the q series those ones are thin and sounds thin they sound thin all right this one surprisingly at 1.2 which is not bad it's this decent 1.2 millimeter thickness 
these keycaps sound really solid. They sound really solid and sound really clean. And as you would expect, the thinner keycaps with the higher profile, it would sound clackier compared to the Cherry Profile XMI PBT keycaps. And that is precisely what I love about these keycaps. Um, it's on the clackier side of the spectrum. And at 1.2, I'm not complaining. That thickness for me is really decent. It's good enough. And what's more important to me than measurement is the actual sound. And the actual sound is really good. Clean, crisp, clacky sounding keycaps, all right? So that's it. Um, I love the sound. I love the feel and the surface. I love the design and the layout. Although I would wish for the letters, the legends to be a bit thinner. Kind of reminds me of the Yonki YMK keycap set. I would wish to be a little bit more thin. But um, I'm okay. I'm okay as how it is. If it were for improvement, probably make the legends, the letters a little bit thinner. Um, on a south-facing RGB PCB, doesn't look that good. On a north-facing RGB, the shine through would really excel. So do take note of that. Um, targeting, again, I think the gamers with the gamery vibe, which for my taste, for my cup of tea, I think um, not really my style. But yet, I love it. I love how it works and I love how it looks on my V65. So, do consider, do consider this. Um, Cable Mods, newest keycap offering. It's good. I love the sound. I love the feel. The looks is okay. Not my favorite, but looks good. And yeah, my only gripe with it is uh, the lack of the completion of the 1.75 unit keys. I'm not sure if there are other keys that are not included in the kit. So, maybe on the next iteration, Cable Mod can fix that. So... Thank you for listening, guys. That's the quick review. Awesome. Awesome set, Cable Mod. Keep it up. Thank you for sending me this keycaps for review. You can check the link on how to get the item. It's available online, purchase worldwide. Really, really good. See you guys on the next video.